the governor has already uh, called on or um, told us what uh, his vision is um, for next session, and that is addressing uh, the uh, recidivism rate on both our juvenile and adult offenders, uh, helping our juvenile and adult offenders with re-entry into society and breaking that uh, school to prison pipeline. So uh, the HB 349 this year, which was the adult criminal justice bill, actually codified the Georgia Criminal Justice Reform Commission for the next five years. And that commission, uh, you will see them uh, this, this year uh, taking up uh, uh, re-entry, recidivism, um, school to prison pipeline issues, uh, and uh, coming up with some legislation to address that. Populations served by the new juvenile justice code are vulnerable and disconnected youth who often lack supervision or structured activities. Are there any prospects for beefing up the quality, beefing up quality and quantity of after school programs? Yes, and I, I think that that uh, ties in directly with uh, this incentive funding pilot project that's out there with the six million dollars that counties have the opportunity to apply for. Um, you know, the only requirement of the code is that they're evidence based. They can be uh, treatment options, they can be after school options, they can be a lot of different programs uh, and uh, we are quite aware that those play such a key and vital uh, part of uh, you know diverting uh, uh, folks on the front end as well as uh, giving uh, people that are already in the system different alternatives. So uh, not only do I think it's a yes, it's a definite yes that we expect to uh, see systems and uh, programs like that expand uh, with some of this money. Uh, no longer can juvenile judges under 242 send truants or misdemeanors into lockup uh, very easily. So the question has got to be uh, what do those truants and misdemeanors need to put them back in school, to make them successful in the classroom, to make them, uh, because no longer will they be detained, but you can't really look at them and say you have to go to school. So I think that got to um, explore different uh, opportunities, different uh, evidence-based systems, evidence-based programs, uh, you know, especially directed at that population, but getting into the specifics, I don't want to preempt the council's decision. 